Hello my friends all over the world, wherever you are. Today I'm going to make some cantaloupe juice and I'm going to shred the skin, the seeds and all. Now normally cantaloupe is very difficult to clean. I'm using an ultrasonic washer today. If you don't have one, use a good clean kitchen scrubbing brush and scrub the skin thoroughly so that you get all of the dirt out because it can hide in all these nooks and crannies. So the first step is going to be to cut this into manageable pieces. Let's take a look at that. Right, as I said, the first step is going to be to cut this into manageable pieces. And what I'm going to do is cut it into wedges that will fit into the feed tube. Now today I'm going to use the five blade near zero blowback cutter which incidentally shreds produce 4 degrees centigrade or 40 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. So that is a definite advantage. And because it shreds so well, you need to be very careful, especially with fruit, to make sure that you don't get any unwanted blowback. But we are using the front-loading feed tube, which almost 100% minimizes or eliminates blowback because any pulp coming up will bounce off the angle and that eliminates a hundred percent of any kinetic energy. If it does blow back it'll come out one or two inches. So let's put the near zero blowback cutter on. Put on the near zero or I should say put on the front loading feed tube. Plug in the thermometer and I'm going to get some ice cubes. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to put three or four ice cubes in to cool down the cutter and the feed tube. Now here's a little tip. When you do fruit, because it's very, very moist, you want to feed it in very slowly and keep this covered with your hand or the pusher until some pulp builds up inside. And then you want to stop the juicer in between to feed in a new piece. Now because it's so liquid I'm stopping it in between to feed in a new piece because that is going to spit out some and you want to minimize that if, all, if at all possible. Now another tip to minimize any potential blowback is to go down only halfway and then feed in a new piece. Go down halfway and notice I don't have to keep it covered or stop the machine in between. Our thermometer is at 21 degrees centigrade so what I'm going to do is put in three ice cubes. in the refrigerator, I wouldn't need to do that. Now, what I love about this front-loading feed tube is I can see in here, and I can see that I have not shred everything. There's some seeds down in there and a little bit of um, unshred pulp. So I'm going to put some of this pulp in here. And notice how liquid it is. And then we're going to force that last produce through so that everything is shred. Now the next step, and you notice how liquid this is, so this is going to be very, very tricky to uh, press and get all that pulp out of there. So the next step will be to clean the feed tube and the grid and the grid holder. And I'll do that now. And then after I clean the feed tube and the cutter, we'll put this into cloth using bamboo liners, and I'll explain why later. I want to take all the pulp off the cutter. a 
as much of that pulp out of there as possible. And we'll take the cutter and the feed tube and clean it. My next step will be to clean the round escutcheon behind the feed tube. And you can clean off the debris with a paper towel like I'm doing here or with a spray nozzle which I happen to have in my kitchen. I prefer the spray nozzle. And then I'm going to reassemble the cleaned parts and make some juice. The cutter always goes on top of the feed tube with the hole down for drainage. Never leave the cutter on the juicer. It will rust on there or get corroded on there somehow. So let's now make some cantaloupe juice. I keep all of my cloths for fruit separate in the freezer. One for apple, one for cantaloupe, one for pomegranate and so on and so forth because quite frankly I don't like to mix my vegetable and my fruit juice especially if I've got garlic in my vegetable juice. So what I'm going to do now is unfold these claws that I keep exclusively for cantaloupe and I'm going to use bamboo liners. And what bamboo liners do is they prevent your pulp from sticking to the cloth. If you didn't have a bamboo liner your pulp, especially from fruit and greens, would stick to your cloth and you would have a cleanup nightmare. So because this is very, very liquid, I'm going to very carefully put three or four scoops into this cloth, about a cup's worth. Looks like I can get about six level scoops. Then we fold the bamboo over in thirds and then fold the cloth over the bamboo. Now I'm going to press two cloths full of pulp at one time, so I'm going to set that aside. I will take another bamboo liner and then scoop in more pulp. About a cup's worth. A cup, cup and a half. Fold the bamboo liner over the pulp into thirds. Now you can reuse the bamboo liner during the same juicing session and I'll show you how momentarily. So, now this is very important especially for fruit juice. The cloths go in the tray centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back and back it off a little bit because we don't want this to go up too fast. Now I'll take this and very carefully pour it into the collection bowl. The first time I did this I got it all over my countertop because I was in too much of a hurry and I wasted all that effort. So we've got juice flow and that's it all the way. Now the Home Health Foundation model juicer with the solid premium bottom plate that has a lifetime warranty incidentally can give you 10% more juice and we'll show you how. But first we'll press out all this pulp. Now notice how you can unfold these and use them again. Do not throw away this pulp. Put new pulp on top of the old pulp. Again about a cup to a cup and a half. Fold the bamboo over the pulp. This is 100% organic bamboo made from wild bamboo. We have these custom made. All right, we'll set that aside. And again, open up the bamboo. Do not throw away this pulp. Again, fold the bamboo over the pulp and then 
in thirds just like it came packaged uh, how the claws came packaged that is but you fold it in thirds as tight a package as you can make the tighter the better and again very very important in the center centered left to right centered front to back you notice how I can reach in on all sides to center that that's a big advantage all the way back back it off a little bit and again very carefully pour the cantaloupe juice now we unfold the bamboo again that's three times we've used it so far I've used reused the bamboo liners up to five or six times so we're down to the last of our pulp tends to be very very liquid so does greens only pulp when you have carrots and other vegetables a little thicker set that aside now this time we're going to press it and wait until we get every last drop out so we're down to the last of our pulp Good to get every last drop of this pulp. I don't want to waste anything. I've had very good success growing my own cantaloupe. You might try that if you have a garden. Again, fold the bamboo over. As tight a package as you can make it. Pressing two cloths full at once gives you better pressure. So centered left to right. Notice how I can reach in here and center it front to back. All the way back, back it off a little bit. That's it all the way. Now that's about as much time as the Norwalk Juicing Company says to press your clouds but this is a whole health foundation model so what I'm going to do is use a measuring beaker and repackage this pulp now notice how nice and clean those claws are when you use a bamboo liner I'm going to pour this into a ball actually let's put both of these into the same cloth pour this into a tight ball and let's see how much more juice we can get using a whole health foundation model juicer. This bottom plate, by the way, has a lifetime warranty. It will never break, I assure you. So I'm going to fold that under. Notice my folding technique. And I'm going to fold that in both directions. and then we'll turn it upside down, flatten it, put it in the tray, in the center, very, very important. All the way back. Okay. As long as you have a steady stream, you can leave that up as long as you want, indefinitely. So it's a matter of how much time you want to take. So there we have two ounces. And now drops. So it looks like three more ounces of juice. The next to the last step is to press the water out of the cloths and put them in the freezer in a plastic bag. put these in a plastic bag and put them back in the freezer. We got a little more than 64 ounces of juice. So let's fill these bottles. Looks like three bottles, maybe four. Yeah, it looks like four bottles. 
And remember, filling right to the top so there's no air in the bottle at all. We have enough for a taste test, so let's get a glass. Now I'm topping these off so that there's no air in the bottle at all. And then we'll do a taste test. Before I do a taste test, I want to show you a little tip. Let me put away the juice tray. What almost everyone forgets to do is clean the upper plate. Almost everyone forgets, and the side plate as well. So now that we've got that cleaned, let's do a taste test. Well, my friends, one whole cantaloupe got four 14 ounce bottles of cantaloupe juice with skins, seeds and all. Let's taste it. That tastes great. With some fruit juices, the fruit would be too sweet and I would mix it 50% with water, such as apple juice. But this actually tastes perfect, so I'm going to leave it full strength. I hope you like what you've seen, and if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net, and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video.